Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 REST on 5 build 17677 was released in the fast ring yesterday May the 24th and that was a surprise because the day before Donna Sarkar had actually issued a well no build this week we've got a rollback problem and it turned out well, no, it's in their servers. They had some issues. So basically, that's pretty much it. So um, what's new in the uh, Microsoft Windows 10 um, update that will, of course, arrive to us next uh, April, next uh, fall, sorry, somewhere in like, you know, October or something. Uh, okay, first of all, install went well. Um, no problems, no glitches. Took about the three, usual three hours, three hours and a half. Typical of this older Core i3 machine and um, seems to work well. I've had no glitches, been using it since yesterday. Uh, you know, I could have done a review yesterday evening, but I thought I'm going to use it a little more to make sure that everything is all right. And uh, everything seems to work really, really um, nice on this latest build. What's new? Um, one of the first things that they've actually tweaked is Microsoft Edge once again. One of the things, the menu. If you look at the menu on the um, on the upper right corner, you're going to the little three dots, the menu is much clearer and it is actually very clear now. And you know what, if you have difficulty reading, um, you know, maybe you, you need high contrast or you need a better way of viewing the screen because of some, you know, uh, high problems. Well, what's cool here is that this is actually making the contrast really nice They've kind of you know, cleaned up the menu a little bit, made things a little spaced a little more. Um, I'm, I, I kind of like it and I, I think they should keep it like that. It really makes this menu uh, clearer to actually see and understand. So it's really, really nice to uh, see this. Another interesting feature is that if you wish to go to one of your favorite websites or one of the websites you go all the time, uh, you know, you had to open Edge and you would go in your favorites or whatever. Well, there's a new jump list feature. So if you have Edge, so let's go here. And here I got the Edge tile. If I right click on it, it actually gives me the different websites that I've gone to today or that I go to the most in the jump list. And you can actually click on it and go directly there. So this is also making it a little more interesting. If you use these um, set tabs aside feature, uh, there's a better reorganization possibility. So, uh, you know, sometimes we kind of, you know, go to uh, different websites and you want to, to um, you know, look at whatever. And then you decide, well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set these tabs aside. I think I wanna keep them for a little later. So you had these uh, tabs that would add up and, um, you know, I, I thought I would maybe use it a little more, but um, I've not been using set tabs aside really much as a feature. They've uh, made it a little more interesting to now um, actually navigate and organize the tabs. So uh, it's easier now to just move the tabs around and have different uh, options. Um, before it was um, kind of a little more complicated to do so. So they've kind of improved that. Um, download pane added options and uh, for show and folder so if you go into your um and your different um you know panels here and everything the download panel actually gives you links to the i won't show it because there are links to a few things that i don't want people to see but um uh, because they have linked directly to some software i downloaded that i don't want people to actually have access to um download <coughs> will show you the link not just you know whatever downloaded but you'll even be able to go back within there and check out um, what you've downloaded and and even have access to the file or either the link to the website where you downloaded from which is very nice actually because now you have access if you don't remember where you downloaded a program for example well you can go there and it will have the link of that that where you got that download uh, you know, it happens sometimes you kind of forget, you know, um, to uh, where you got something. Well, now it's going to be there. Uh, Narrator has some improvements now. So uh, if you are 
uh, using narrator uh, scan mode, it now actually will work in content from Microsoft Edge, Word, Outlook, Mail, and most text surfaces. So apparently um, some improvements there. Kernel debugging improvements. So uh, they're adding support for IPv6 to uh, KDNet, KDNet kernel debugging. Uh, so that's, you know, making it more modern basically. Uh, task manager has apparently better, um, let's go here to the task manager, making small changes in how memory used by suspended universal windows apps process appear in the task manager. So now when you actually want to look at memory uh, stuff, uh, there's apparently better, uh, kind of a better way of showing how things are uh, being used by universal windows apps. If you use an LTE connection on a tablet or a device that has Windows 10, you have remade the mobile broadband connectivity here on LTE to uh, actually, actually have better access. So that's pretty much what we have here. Um, and it actually is um, pretty much what we have. Lots and lots of bug problems. So if you are having issues, remember that there's some, um, there's a lot of bugs, of course, as usual, there's a list of all sorts of things that don't work well. Um, and uh, one of the things also they're saying it's made to uh, understand that uh, because of, you know, File Explorer, I talked about it, they are still working on it and they're saying there's a lot of things happening. There's uh, issues with sets. Once again, I always get these people saying, hey, I don't have sets. How come? They removed it? No, they did not. You're in part of the test uh, testing people that don't have sets. Uh, the way that they work is every time there's a new build, some people have sets, others don't. It's A-B testing that they're calling. I don't know why they're doing it. Is it really useful? I'm not sure, but they do it like that, the way they want to test it out. So some of you don't have sets, um, absolutely. Upcoming Bug Bash, June 22nd to July the 1st. So in about a month's time from now, we will have a Bug Bash and they will hold even a Bug Bash webcast. So uh, on June 27th, and of course, we'll talk about it as we get closer. And, you know, we'll have other builds since uh, until then, probably. So um, that's pretty much what I have to say about this build. Hope you enjoy our videos. Uh, how did it go for you? Do you like it? Uh, any glitches, any problems? I did have one glitch that I think is not reported. Sometimes the Cortana search here is actually not showing. And instead of having that box that appears where I can write, it just kind of blends in with the taskbar and I can't do anything. And I got to get out and I got to re-click and usually it's fun. So there's kind of a little glitch there. But apart from that, I've had absolutely no issues, been, um, been you know, using the build uh, all morning today. No problems at all. Been having a lot of uh, fun playing with all of this and um, works fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.